On the ground, there was a footprint. A big footprint. So I was uh, hooked from that moment on. I started spending all the time I could spare searching for the beast. Then I spent time I couldn't spare. That's how I lost my job and my friends. It's so sad. Well, I didn't tell it so you could cry in your sprouts or whatever that is, darling. I'm telling it so that your father won't make the same mistake. Well, I appreciate what you're saying, Dr. Wrightwood, but there's a big difference between your story and mine. Not as big as you think. Maybe even bigger. No, 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 you're kidding yourself. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. I remember what you told me when you came into my shop. Bigfoot can come live with us. We'll accept the responsibility. <laughs> Can't you imagine what a Bigfoot would do to your home? <laughs> yeah, well, I can. You're good people. I'm going to say this once. I'm going to say it's simple. And I hope to God, for your sakes, you all listen. There are no abominable snowmen. There are no Sasquatches. There are no big feet. <laughs> Am I missing something? <laughs> Oh, Lord, Lord, God. Dr. Wrightwood, say hello to Harry. Hello. Hello. Harry. Yeah! Something? Oh, yes, he's so smart, too. I mean, George has taught him how to sit. To sit? Uh oh We haven't quite perfected it yet. Hungry? He lives here with you? Temporarily. 